five. And I love coming out here first thing in the morning. It's like 6.15 right now. And um, I've already cuddled with the, some of the babies. And now they're all getting snuggled back under Mama. She's been out, done a little bit of shaking off and dust bathing and eating some scratch. And the babies had a little scratch, which I, I only give them little bits of it. And this is like my favorite part. I love seeing the babies just hop on Mama. <laughs> they, they take turns and they think it's a fun, fun ride. And Mama doesn't care at all. No, she's so good. I'm keeping those babies warm. Oh, Mama, good job. Can you see how pretty our baby dorkings are? They're just so pretty. That's the boy right there in front. You can see his comb is much redder. And the girls have a much lighter color of their feathers. And um, like a bronzes color, bronze and reddish colors to their breast feathers. And they're so sweet. Love them. You can really barely tell the difference between the leghorns and the white Plymouth rocks. The white rocks are a little bit shorter still, and the leghorns have a more pointed tail feathers. They kind of fan straight up, and the white rocks have a more normal chicken shape uh, rear. And that little girl right there, that's my new arcana. And there's another one. Oh, there he is. She could be. Hopefully it's a she. That's our other new arcana. Yep, they're getting big. They're ready to very soon get with the, the big kids, or at least in the big coop. And I've been hearing the one of the boys, maybe two, of the... Um, the meaty birds crowing already. First time I heard them was this morning. It's very uh, funny when they're doing their first practice crows. I was hoping I'd catch them do it again. Just not sure which one's doing it. There's three of them in there. Three out of the four are boys. And we've got our two new buffs. And two um, comets. Three leghorns. Two new arcanas. Four white rocks. Four uh, silver gray dorkings. One boy, three girls. I'm not sure on the white rocks how many boys and girls we have. It's hard to tell at this point. We got at least one, maybe two roosters. And then we've got all the all four of the meaty birds, the first batch of meaty birds in here. So it's pretty cramped quarters. But uh at night, during the day they got plenty of room and they're mostly getting along now. There's 21 birds in this little flock here. And as soon as we get our chickshaw built, they'll be going in the main coop. Those... <laughs> that was Lancelot. Those meaty birds really like to throw their weight around. They've created a little dust bath over in that corner there, where they're all kind of congregated. And they like to go over to it and kick everybody out every few minutes. Oh, that's the female right there. Oh, that high-pitched squeal is the turkey babies. They really want out. 
think we're going to move their little pen today. Uh, late afternoon, 5 p.m. ish, on day five. I just brought out some scrambled eggs for everybody. <laughs> so, Mama's going to show it to the babies now, even though I already gave them some and they've been running around with it. <laughs> like when I give them worms and they run. So cute. Thank you for being here with us on our homesteading journey. If you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on the bell to be notified of our new movies. From Maine Homestead Project, I'm Victoria. And I'm Gary. From our homestead to yours, have a productive and beautiful day.